Hey guys, how's it going? It's Kitten Kitty here, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And sorry, I was looking over there. That's where my mic was, and I forgot that I was recording face cam, but it's all good now. I got you, I got you. I'll look you guys right in the fucking eye. But you know, today I have a little bit of a different video for you guys. It's gonna be a life story. A life-changing story, actually. This story has changed my life. That's what life-changing story means for all of you guys that don't know. So let's get right into it. It was a fine, fine, fine ass day in Florida, Jensen Beach. That's like mid lower Florida, I guess you could say. It's like the bottom half of Florida, but like the middle of the bottom half of Florida. It's around there ish. I go there every year for spring break and whatnot, me and my family. And this year is a bit different. You see, you got my oldest brother, Lewis, and you have my older brother, Nick. But this year, this year, Nick decided to bring his girlfriend. So, you know, we're all in Florida, chilling out, maxing, relaxing, not shooting some b-ball because I'm not athletic. But we're waiting for the golf cart guy to come by. We rent golf carts every year so we could drive around the little condo area that we have. Golf cart guy gets to our house and he has two golf carts. One of them is a four-seater and the other one is a two-seater. And me and all my brothers, we looked at each other. We were like, shoddy! Because we all wanted the two-seater and not the four-seater because the two-seater is always faster. No matter what, there's always less weight and that's all that like really matters with that is just the weight. That and the battery power that you have. So I didn't really care, honestly. It was just mainly my oldest brother and my older brother. They were fighting over and everything. And then eventually, Nick, my older brother, he takes the keys to the two-seater, grabs his girlfriend, and they hop inside the golf cart. They start driving off, and immediately, Lewis is like, yo, Tim, let's go! And we hop inside the four-seater, and we're chasing them. We had like a good five-minute golf cart chase, I guess you could say. It was pretty intense for at the time, you know, being first-person view, front seat, passenger seat. Yo, we're gonna get it, we're gonna get the- Yo, they made a turn, 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 turn! It was intense at the time, but then eventually it got even more tense. Ooh, ooh, I'm talking about classic car chase move. Lewis decides to jump out of the golf cart. So, right before he does it, he's like... Jesus, take the I'm like, oh, don't worry. I will be Jesus. I will take this wheel. So I fucking take the wheel and he jumps out of the golf cart. He's trying to catch up to my brother by running. And it seemed like almost one of those gifts that you see where the person like, the treadmill is on. It's going at like its top speed and someone just decides to jump right on it. Like, yeah, I can run that fast immediately. No big deal. No, you can't. You'll get like two, three steps going, but then you'll just fucking face plant and that's exactly what happened to him he got two three steps and then he fucking face planted it was at this point where time just started going so slow for me i swear i could have seen the dust particles move from this part of my eye vision to this part of my eye vision you guys probably couldn't even tell that i moved my fucking arm but i did so time was moving all slow and everything and i see i see my brother's head just line up perfectly with the fucking wheel one foot in front of the golf cart wheel. Ooh, I knew at this point I needed to pull some ninja shit or else I would kill my brother. That would be like 500 pounds just running over my brother's head at 10 miles per hour. It was not going to be pretty. I was going to kill my brother that day. If I didn't do this ninja ass shit, I turned the wheel to the left. I turned the wheel to the right. And I swear, I heard the screech. He was like, I was on two wheels at that point on the golf cart. It was the most intense moment of my life. After that, it was all scraped up and I was like, yo, we're just gonna go home, come on. So we drive home, my mom's tending to his wounds. Then Nick walks through the door and he's like, well, I guess we have the two seater. This is the point where Lewis fucking snapped. He grabs the kid by the shirt and he's like, listen, you little shit. You're gonna give me the fucking two seater. I did so much fucking shit for you in your life you're gonna give me the fucking two-seater he's got him held up by his shirt right about to knock the lights out of him they were about to go into an all-out brawl and this was inside of the kitchen so you could imagine the kind of weapons that they could just pull but then my mom she started yelling and this is the first time in about seven or so years where my mom has yelled that loud this is exactly what she's did the exact pitch <laughs> Hey! 
excuse the voice cracks. You guys are family! You shouldn't be doing that to each other! Stop it! Stop it! And, you know, obviously they stopped, even though both of my brothers are over 18 and definitely could tolerate that yelling. But, I don't know, after that, I just couldn't hear anything for the rest of the vacation, so I just went out throughout my day doing what I do. That's actually it for today's story. I know, it was a pretty crazy story. I almost killed my brother. It was, uh, it was pretty intense. No big deal or anything, but, I mean, I could slow down time at certain moments of my life that I can't actually choose, which is actually a pretty useless power. But, I'm gonna end off the video over here, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys ever almost killed your brother with a golf cart tire. That's actually oddly specific, but if it happened, let me know in the comments section down below. And of course, if you liked the video, leave a like as well. But I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>